Alright, so I'm getting ready to finally transplant those seedless tomatoes. I've been growing. Let me switch the camera around. So these guys are all ready to get transplanted. Out of 16, only a handful of them didn't um, germinate at all, and a couple of them just kind of like died out really quickly. Um, these guys are ready to get transplanted into the back garden bed back there. Um, some of them, I'm not sure how they're going to do because some of them got some bad like, sun damage. It's been pretty brutally hot here and I've been trying to um, get them acclimated to outside. So hopefully they'll be alright and do better once they get transplanted. They've definitely stopped growing. Um, they don't have enough nutrients in these, so they're definitely ready for transplanting. And then I'll show y'all over here. I already transplanted the three best looking ones in this um, container that I showed y'all before. So I've got like a little um, sunshade cloth over this. And then you can see they're doing pretty well, especially that one in the back. It is doing very well. So these were the three best ones I planted here because this gets the most sun compared to the garden bed in the back. So um, they're doing well. I had to install this shade cloth on here because um, they were getting way too much sun and were starting to wilt a lot. So that's helpful for keeping them in check. So I've got these ones. They've got a trellis that I'm going to have them grow up on the back here. And then I'm going to transplant... The other ones, I've got some tomato cages you can see back here. Um, so, experimenting with two different ways of letting them grow. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and transplant. <laughs> Planted. I probably honestly didn't get these tomato cages in deep enough, but it's really hot out here. I might try to like hammer them in a little bit later when it's cooler. But got them all in their new homes, and hopefully they do better over here. This area doesn't get a ton of direct sun, but it gets a good amount in the morning. Um, and you can see this garden bed is a bit of a mess. I actually weeded out a row for the tomatoes here. And then because we hadn't been taking care of it, there's so much more weeding to do. I'm gonna deal with the other part later. But at least needed to get the tomatoes in so that they could start um, growing a little bit more again because they had definitely slowed down the past week or so. So I'm gonna kinda keep an eye on how these ones here do compared to the ones that are in the container over on the back porch um and kind of yeah see see how they go hopefully everything grows well and i'll keep checking in with y'all later on how they're doing sophie's coming to inspect my work you got to stay out of there We stopped by Mochi Nut today for some donuts, and here's what all we got. Um, we got birthday cake, funnel cake, cinnamon toast crunch, and ube taro. And it always comes in this cute little box. Uh, they all look so good. I'm, I really like Mochi Nut. I'm excited to eat these. Um, and then I also got this brown sugar boba, which comes in this clear can, which I haven't seen before. It was pretty, pretty neat. Thank you. 
So checking in on the snake plant propagation. You can already see. <laughs> I'll hold it a little closer. But it's been doing very well. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, sorry. I'm apologizing to the big snake plant here. So we got lots of little root growth. So I think it's a good time to go ahead and transplant it back with its uh, original plant here. <laughs> so this is Arbok, the large snake plant I have. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and transplant this guy back in here, add a little bit more soil because you can see it's kind of low. Um, and um, yeah, we'll see how it does in there. Got a couple of new growths as well. I think they're called pups. Um, and then this is, let me move the camera a little bit. This is the other new growth that I had right here. It's gotten quite large and it's got a couple of pups growing down there too. So yeah, going to go ahead and transplant this and then um, this should be hopefully doing well again. Um, I'll keep an eye on it and we'll see how it does. We've got that guy planted. Hopefully it does well. And then it's been about um, maybe two weeks since I planted the tomatoes back there. So go ahead and check on those for y'all. And But first we'll check on these ones here on the porch here. They are doing interestingly. <laughs> it's been so brutally hot here. You can see this one doing horrible. This one in the middle here is trying its best. Um, and then because of the way this area is, um, this side of the house kind of casts a little bit of shade right where the third one is here. So this guy is actually doing pretty well. So just gonna keep an eye on that. Hopefully it'll do keep doing well. It's just been so brutally hot here. Um, I'm not sure how great they'll turn out, but hopefully it will at least get a few tomatoes. And then here are the other tomatoes that were transplanted in the back. Um, these are actually doing surprisingly well. I didn't think that they would do great here because they don't get a ton of sun, but because it's been so brutally hot, it's actually worked out pretty well for them. So. They're doing all right. It's still got some wilting from the sun. I'll try to get out my shadow out of the frame here. Um, yeah. So we'll just kind of keep an eye out, see how they keep doing. And hopefully, like I said, we get some tomatoes. Um, it's gonna be interesting and I'll keep y'all updated. <laughs> 